did, did this feel like the, the toughest test you guys have faced, and how did you think the guys uh, responded to it? No question. This was the best team that we played so far. Um, I thought they were physical. Their guard play was really good. I think they gave us the best test. Um, we did not dictate the pace of the game defensively, um, and they out-rebounded us, which is, you know, they only have two big, so that says a lot right there. We've been out-rebounding teams by 20-plus. Not these guys, they out-rebounded us, so that was a big tell. Some of this could have been attributed to the two days off. They were maybe a little rusty, uh, but at the end of the day, we got the W. They played okay, not great, but we'll take it. One guy to say, Kenny, when you don't play great and you still win by 15 or whatever it was? I think it says a lot when you're playing grown men um, opposed to other college kids. Uh, the fact that these that team is full of NBA players and European players says a lot. How did you think the two lineups did against them? Like, was one one more physical than the other? Um, I thought the first group was physical. Um, I thought the second group was more energetic, uh, but not by much. I didn't think they were as sharp as they'd been in the other games. Um, I don't know if that was us or the team that they were playing. What do you think about the way Alex seems to take the bull by the horns when uh, you guys need something to be done? I'm proud of Alex. Alex is playing unbelievable. Um, he just has to continue to play with confidence. Uh, I'm not surprised at all. Um, again, I said it the other day, he came back here to show people he's one of the best forwards in the country. And as of today, he's showing. He's showing that. His skills have gotten better. He made two threes today. He's rebounding the ball. He's playing with, with confidence. We can't ask any more from him. How tough is he to deal with if he's hitting threes in addition to the stuff around the basket? Well, if he's just playing with confidence, he as strong as he is, the way that he explodes off the floor, the ability to get offensive rebounds, to beat you off the dribble and dunk you, to catch the ball in the post uh, and make plays, he, he's tough. He's a tough matchup for anybody. Dakari seemed to come up more aggressive this game than he had in the previous three matchups. Is that something you guys talked about on the days off, or was it just a matchup situation with the DR? I thought that one of our advantages was the post play. Dakari, Carl, and uh, Alex. Um, and I felt like Dakari set the tone. I thought he did a good job in the post. I thought he played well down there. To, he's tough to deal with. And if you're not going to trap him, I mean, <laughs> he, he's really hard to deal with. How what valuable is the is the sort of the difference in all these big guys that you have? That they all bring something a little bit different. <laughs> Obviously, Carl with the with the vast skill set, and Willie as a shot blocker, and then you have a guy like Dakari who's totally different than all these. Guys. No question, we have an interesting dynamic of, of big guys. Marcus Lee, who can really move his feet, who's energetic, who can offensive rebound, who can catch lobs from anywhere. You got Carl, who's skilled, who can pass it, who can shoot it. You got Dakari, who's a big bull. You got the, uh, Alex. I mean, we got we got so many different legitimate players that it's very difficult to find out who you want to who you want to take away. Then another one steps in. Does Marcus Lee have a quality of uh, bringing a spark when he comes in the game? No it question. Seems like things pick up. When... His energy is is what is important for us. Uh, we need his energy. He's a he's an energetic player. That's his personality. And that's what he brings to the table. What do you think of Eloy and how he played versus when he was with you guys? He's gotten better. He's gotten a lot better. He's matured. Uh, he's shooting the ball better. He's, he's moving better. Um, but he's, he's a professional now. <laughs> you miss uh, Orlando? I do miss Orlando. I do miss him. Sort of strange coaching against him. How do you think he did? He did well. Got a good team. He's running some really good stuff. Um, his team plays well together. They fight together. He's doing a good job. How about uh, Devin Booker? He he shot the ball so well last week in the practices we got yeah. to see. Yet it's not uh, happening right now. Anyway. Well, I think Devin is, is thinking a little bit too much. I think that he's um, second guessing when to shoot it, when to, when to pass it. Um, but he's going to be fine. That's the least of our worries, Devin Booker. <laughs> What's the most of your worries? 
just making sure these guys understand that they have to dictate what goes on on that floor. The other team can't. Um, and if they, if the other team does dictate what goes on, then it becomes a stagnant brand of basketball and hit or miss. Kenny, what do you look for to tell you which team is dictating how the game is being played? What sort of plays do you look for? I think it starts and ends at the defensive end. I think that initiates everything. I think that uh, when we're defending, getting steals, getting deflections, rebounding the ball, flying up the floor. We're, I mean, you got seven footers that's flying. You got wing players that can shoot it, pass it, alley oops. Um, you know, it starts with defense. What do you think of Tyler so far? What, what has he done well? Is there anything he hasn't done as well as you'd like? Tyler Eulis is a special basketball player. Uh, I love him. We love him. Uh, hopefully these fans will get to see him and understand what his game is because he's very talented to be a small guard. Um, you can't put him in a box. You have to sort of let him play off his instincts because his instincts are off the chart. Is there any sort of chemistry between uh, Marcus Lee and Derek Willis? It seems like they're uh, pretty good at finding each other. No question. They've been getting people on the alley-oops for a while now. It's been really good to see.